Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marque of Living Streams International. We meet behind the trade fair behind Zenith College, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. This, this morning, I'd like to turn my, my, my message, the ears or the mouth? Ears or the nose? Now, I was reading Revelations 2 when the scripture just leapt at me and said, He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying. And then also too, in Psalm 133, when they said the oil that runs from Aaron's head, then it runs down and then... And you know one thing that struck me very carefully? We have the eyes, we have the ears, and we have the mouth. And here's the interesting thing. He that hath an ear, let him hear. And also the fact that oil runs down, touches the ears, and then before it descends to the mouth. Now, I've been in trouble many times. I'm telling you. I've been in trouble in times where God spoke to me. And when God spoke to me, I quickly run and then to tell people, well, this is what God said. And then it got me, got me into a lot of trouble. And sometimes in anguish and in pain, I'll go back to God and say, my Lord, you asked me to do this. And no, I spoke to your ears. I didn't speak to your mouth. I spoke to your ears and not to your mouth. And then one time I'm just sitting down, then something just dropped into, into, into my mind and my spirit. He says, how many ears did God give you? Two. How many mouths did God give you? One. And then went on further. Now, Tell me, is there a distance between the ear and the mouth? I say, sure. There's a distance between the mouth and the ear. Now, here's it. There are times, there are things that are said to us, they are for our ears only and not for our mouth. They are for our ears only and not for our mouth. Sometimes, I mean, you, you may have a revelation. It's not for you to say it. God was just confiding in you. And he was, he was speaking to your ears. He wasn't speaking to your mouth. And that is why God placed a distance between your ears and your mouth. So that before you say something, let it travel the distance of maturity. Let it travel the distance of maturity. Before you begin to say, and, and, and that's what, some of us, we have oral diarrhea. When we hear it, no, when we hear it, no, when we hear it, no, no. There are things sometimes when God says to you, ruminate on it, masticate it, think it through, pray through it before you say anything. In Proverbs 25, too, sometimes the Bible says it is the glory of God to conceal a matter, but it is the honor of kings to search out a matter. You talk too soon. You talk too soon. And He gave you two ears. And not just two ears, but he gave you one mouth. And he put a distance between. And now, the next thing. He that hath an ear, he that hath an ear, let him hear. And let the oil, let the ear, you know, the oil runs from the head, then touches the ear before it touches the mouth. So guess what? It is not everything that we hear that we are to repeat. It's not everything your friend tells you that you need to repeat. It's not every news that you hear that you need to repeat. Sometimes there are some things that God calls bad report. Have two ears to listen and just one mouth to speak. That is, hear more than you speak. Because sometimes, if you don't allow the things that you hear to travel the distance of maturity, you may be going to say something that will create problems and bring trouble. Oh, yeah, I know about it. But I've been telling this has brought me trouble. You don't want to be there, do you? So, two ears, one mouth. Remember that. See you next time.